Okay, we'll finish up uh, section 11.4 here. Um, so when choosing a series for comparison, using the comparison test, it works well to disregard all the terms um, except for those that have the highest powers of n in both the numerator and the denominator. Just looking at this note here. Okay, so like here's a, here's a series that we want to know if, if it converges or diverges. Uh, suppose that we have the summation as n equals 1 to infinity of the square root of n divided by 3n squared minus 1. Okay, and I've got a note here. Just the standard comparison test is not going to work. Not going to work. Okay, so um, if we compare the, um, the sequence, which is the square root of n divided by 3n squared minus 1. Now, what if I didn't have the minus 1 there in the denominator? Um, I got the square root of n divided by 3n squared because uh, the left, the, excuse me, the, the right side is always going to be a smaller number if uh, the denominator is going to be a bigger value. Okay, and I'm subtracting one the denominator on the, on the left, so the, the left side is going to be a bigger number. Okay, uh, the square root of n divided by n squared, that's 1 divided by n to the 3 halves power. So I'm looking at 1 divided by 3 n to the 3 halves power. Now that's a convergent series. Now I'm comparing this to something that's bigger than that, though. So I, I don't know anything about, about this, this series and, and that, you know, it might converge or it might diverge. Okay, and this statement is true for all n greater than or equal to 1. So, so this, this doesn't help me here. This is a completely useless uh, comparison. Okay. So now I'm going to use the limit comparison test. Okay, th think about the limit comparison test as like a plan B option if the regular comparison test does not work. Okay, so if, if, I'm, if I'm starting off by using a comparison test, like I'm going, to, I'm, I'm going to start off by using the standard comparison test. If that doesn't work, then, then my plan B option is to try the limit comparison test. So the, um, the sequence is uh, the square root of n divided by 3n squared minus 1. That's always going to be the sequences in, inside the sum there to start. Uh, b sub n, uh, okay, well, what, why don't we keep b sub n as 1 divided by 3n to the 3 halves power. Now, um, if, I, if I'm multiplying uh, by 1 third, that's not going to change anything, right? That's not going to make the, uh, this, the, uh, this, the series converge or diverge. Okay, so it's enough to just um, let b sub n be equal to 1 divided by n to the 3 has power and get rid of the 3. Okay, you can keep the 3 or, or not, it doesn't matter. And uh, so then using the limit comparison test, we have the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n divided by b sub n, which is the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n is uh, the square root of n divided by 3n squared minus 1 divided by b sub n is uh, 1 divided by n to the 3 halves power. Okay, so then if I flip the denominator, uh, I'm looking at the limit as n approaches infinity of n squared divided by 3n squared minus 1. Uh, from this point, so um, I'm in indeter indeterminate form, infinity over infinity. Um, so I can use L'Hopital's rule if I want, or I, I decide to uh, multiply the top and bottom by... Uh, 1 divided by n squared. n squared divided by n squared, that's 1. And then 3n squared minus 1 times 1 over n squared, that's 3 minus 1 over n squared. n is approaching infinity. So uh, the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over n squared, this means 0. Right? The denominator is going to grow without a bound as the numerator sits at 1. And I get uh, 1 third. Okay, one third is a number bigger than zero, and that that that's that, that's all I need is I, I need to get a number bigger than zero for the limit comparison test to work. Okay, now um, this uh, series given by the sum as uh, n equals one to infinity of one divided by n to the three halves power. That's a convergent p series. The p value would be uh, three halves. And because that series converges, then the original series is also going to converge by the limit comparison test. 
Okay. And, um, you know, I, so in, in section, um, 11.7 is what it is, you know, a, like a, after we, after we look at a few more tests here, then they're going to combine like everything into, into, uh, you know, just a, a section where you, they're, they're no longer telling you, okay, you use the comparison test or, or use the integral test or whatever test you, you know, it's, it's something that you, you have to decide on your own. Okay. And, um, and so there's, there's, there's gonna be more of that, you know, later. Um, but, uh, uh, yeah, so this is just getting us used to, um, to, uh, to that stuff, you know, later down the road. And, but, you know, it, so, so when, when I say that this original series converges, I, it, it's typical to say it converges by the limit comparison test or by the integral test or because it's a geometric series. Like, so, cause, cause if anyone's looking at this and they're wondering what you're doing, they can say, oh, you know, he's using the limit comparison test to, to, uh, to, to see that this series converges, okay? Uh, let's try one more example here. So we got the summation as n equals one to infinity of n squared divided by, uh, n squared minus five n divided by two n cubed plus n plus one. Okay, so let's check out this note here. If I compare n squared minus 5n divided by 3n cubed plus n plus 1, uh, like what, what if I get rid of the minus 5n up top? Well, then the right side is always going to be bigger than the left side if I'm subtracting 5n up top. n is a number bigger than, uh, greater than or equal to 1, right? So the, the numerator is always going to be a bigger number there up top. Uh, and then uh, down under, okay, what if I get rid of the n and the plus 1 there? So I'm looking at n squared divided by 2n cubed. Well, if I compare that to uh, n squared divided by 2n cubed plus n plus 1, uh, well, the right side is always going to be the bigger number because on the left side, if I'm adding things in the denominator, if I'm adding n and adding 1, then the denominator is going to be a bigger number than compared to the one on the right. So the overall fraction on the left is gonna be a smaller number than the one on the right. n squared divided by n cubed, that's one over n. So I get one divided by two n, okay? Now, the summation as uh, n equals one to infinity of one over n, that's a divergent series. Now I'm comparing that to uh, something that's uh, where term by term is, is less than than what than what I've got there for the sum as uh, n equals one to infinity of uh, one over n. So th this doesn't tell me anything, right? Th this th this is totally useless, right? Because th this series could converge or could diverge, right? So um, uh, yeah, the, just the standard comparison test doesn't work here. So now plan B would be to use the limit comparison test. Okay, so A sub n is gonna be the, uh, the sequence n squared minus five n divided by two n cubed plus n plus one, which is inside the sum there. And B sub n is, well, let, let's, uh, let's keep B sub n as uh, one divided by n, the, one divided by two n, e, you could have b sub n be one divided by two n. The uh, division by two isn't going to change anything, though. Okay, so let's just have b sub n be one over n, which I know is a divergent series, right? So um, let's see. The only thing I'm looking for is that this uh, limit value is uh, bigger than one. So I compute the limit as n approaches infinity of uh, a sub n divided by b sub n. That is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of n squared minus 5n divided by 2n cubed plus n plus 1 divided by b sub n is uh, 1 over n. And if I uh, flip the denominator there, I have uh, n cubed minus 5n squared divided by 2n cubed plus n plus 1. I'm finding the limit as n purchase infinity of that. Um, and I'm in indeterminate form, so I can use uh, L'Hopital's rule if I want. Or uh, what, what I decided here was uh, let's multiply the top and bottom by uh, one over n cubed. 
And so when we do that and distribute the one over n cubed there, uh, we have the limit as n approaches infinity of one minus five uh, n squared over n cubed, that'd be minus five over n, divided by two plus one over n squared plus one over n cubed. Okay, the limit as n approaches infinity of a constant is always the constant, and uh, you know, with the 5 over n, 1 over n squared, 1 over n cubed, that's all going to be 0 because the denominator is growing without a bound as the numerator just sits at a constant. So I get 1 half. Well, uh, 1 half is bigger than 0, so it looks like this test is going to work. Now, I was comparing this to, a, um, to, to the harmonic series. Uh, the sum is n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n that diverges. So that tells me that the original series is also going to diverge by the limit comparison test. Okay. All right, so uh, here's the homework in uh, section 11.4. Have a look at those problems there, and uh, we'll go ahead and stop the video right here.